In the last video, the story was you were planning to supply 4,250 batteries per year to smart tech company. You had some projections. You had estimated cash flows for your project to produce and sell 4,250 batteries per year over the next four years. In Excel, we found the lowest bid price you should submit. It was $55.72. You should definitely watch the video if you haven't. The minimum bid price of $55.72 was the price for which the project's net present value is zero. In this video, we are going to do further project analysis and evaluation. No worries, we're not going to repeat the lowest bid price stuff. Instead, we will assume that you estimate the sales price as $80 and you examine the project further to make a good decision. Why do we need further evaluation? Because what your projected cash flows for the next four years is what you think the cash flows will be or ex expected. But anything can happen between now and then. So the actual cash flows may be different than what you thought. Let me remind you the rest of the project. You manufacture smartphone batteries. Sales are projected at 4,250 batteries per year over the next four years. It will cost you $200,000 to install the equipment necessary to start production. You'll depreciate this cost straight line to zero over the project's life. You estimate that in four years, this equipment can be salvaged for $40,000. Your fixed production costs will be $80,000 per year. Price per unit is $80. And your variable production costs should be $20 per battery, of which $15 per unit in variable material costs and $5 per unit in variable labor expense. You also need an initial investment in networking capital of $50,000. Your tax rate is 21% and you require a return of 13% on your investment. Should you accept this project? Here's the work to find the MPV for the project. It was shown in the Excel video I mentioned at the beginning. All you need to do is changing the price per unit to $80 here. If you calculate the net present value for the project, you will see that it's almost $242,500. Based on the MPV rule, you should accept the project given the MPV is positive, right? What if there are errors in your projected cash flows? They are estimated amounts, not actual ones. If there are errors in the projected cash flows, you can possibly make a bad decision with this project. This possibility is called forecasting risk or estimation risk. For example, you think you will sell 4,250 batteries per year. What if you could sell only 3,400 batteries per year? Your projected variable cost per unit is $20. What if it could be higher, say $24? Your estimated fixed cost is $80,000. What if it could be higher, say $96,000? Because of forecasting risk, you may false define the MPV as a positive number, although it really is not positive. Then what can you do about possible errors in your projected cash flows? You can try to figure out what leads to a positive MPV. Remember, positive MPV indicates value created to your company or your wealth. Here's the question you must ask. Why does this project create value? You should point to something specific as the source of value. We will do scenario analysis by asking what if questions to determine what happens to MPV estimates accordingly. By scenario analysis, at the very least, you consider the most optimistic, the most realistic, and the most pessimistic outcome that can reasonably be expected. By the best case scenario, we will, we will assume the most optimistic outcome for which we consider, for example, high revenue and low costs or high salvage value. By the worst case, scenario, we will assume the most pessimistic outcome for which we consider, for example, low revenue and high costs. The base case will assume the value is to be the most likely to happen. 
Going back to the project, let's say you believe the estimate for unit sales, unit price, unit variable costs, and fixed costs are accurate only to within plus or minus 20%. So in the worst case scenario, the unit sales would be 20% less. Let's find the 80% of 4,250 then. 1 minus 0 0.20, uh, which is 3,400. In the worst, uh, worst case scenario, the price per unit will be 20% less. The 80% of 80 is 64. The variable cost in the worst case scenario will be 20% higher. So 20 times 1 plus 0.20, which is 24. And fixed costs will be 20% higher in the worst case scenario. So 80,000 times 1 plus uh, 0.2 is $96,000. So under the worst scenario, here are new values. You see net income is negative. However, the, the total project cash flow, the cash flows are positive, which is good. But the MPV is negative, almost negative $75,000. The original investment you see is $250,000, and it seems you will uh, lose most of it under the worst scenario. Under the best case, the units sold per year will be 20% higher. So for 1,250 times 1.20 is 5,100. And price per unit will be 20% higher, which is 96. And variable costs, that's the best case. It will be 20% lower. So 20 times 1 minus 0.20 which is 16 and fixed costs should be high uh, should be lower <laughs> by 20 percent we're going to lower the fixed cost by 20 percent 80,000 times 1 minus 0.20 it's 64,000 Let, let's calculate the NPV under the Best case scenario, you see the MPV is it's positive and it's more than double the original cost. The best case scenario seems highly optimistic. Uh, you can try many different scenarios, but in general, it could be reasonable analyzing the base case, the worst, the best, and the uh, one between the base and the worst, and the one between the base and the best. Otherwise, the scenarios should be chosen specific to the project given the market conditions, etc. Scenario Manager in Excel is a great tool that lets you to evaluate different scenarios. To use Scenario Manager, you first need to select the cells that you will be changing. In this case, cells C6 through C9. Next, go to the Data tab, click What If Analysis, click Scenario Manager. 
this will bring up a box that looks like this. I've already added worst case scenario. Let's add best case. When you click on add, another box comes up that will allow you to enter the scenario name. I will video type best case. Then you will be asked to enter values for that scenario. I've entered them. Click OK. Now that all the scenarios are entered, we can click on Summary, which brings up the final box. This box allows us to save the results in a separate spreadsheet. You enter C39, which is where the NPV is as the final result we want in the summary. Then if you wish you can play around here in the scenario summary, uh, the changing cells are not given by their ordinal names. And here, this is C39 is MPV. If you play around, you can make the following changes to make it look better. So I replace changing uh, cells and numbers with their original names and I put MPV. I also changed a uh, color for the columns. The worst case I used red here for best case I used green. And now you have the scenario summary. In upcoming videos, I will continue with project analysis and evaluation using sensitivity analysis, break-even analysis, and operating leverage. No need to mention that you're welcome to subscribe the channel to be notified for these upcoming videos. Stay healthy and connected.